This is your power-up, shutdown, and leveling of your robotic total station. After the equipment's set up, you want to make sure that you raise the antenna on the robot. Then you can come over to the keypad on the robot and turn it on. Come over to the Programs button. Right underneath it, it says On. You're going to hold that for a couple seconds. The screen's going to flash, and then the robot will turn on. After that's on, you can come over to the remote and turn the remote on second. The same thing, the, screen, the keypad is basically the same, except for this has an expanded keyboard on it instead of being on the numbers like it is on the, the robot itself. You're going to hit the program button, you're going to hold it, the screen's going to flash like a Geosystems logo is going to come on, then the remote's going to begin to search for the robot. Once that turns on, you can come back over to the robot and you'll see that the level and the laser plummet has automatically come on. You can see here that the laser is on and it's shooting down to a point on the ground. To level it, it's going to be the same principles and techniques, your left thumb rule. Well, that's on chapter 343 of your construction surveying book if you need to review that. Once you level it, you can escape out of the menu. You're going to hit escape and it's going to bring you back to the main menu. If you need to pull up the plummet for any reason throughout the job, you can manually pull it up. You can hit shift and F12 and it will pull up the laser plummet. Then again, escape out of it, bring you back to the main menu. If you come over to the remote, you can see that the screen is identical to what's on the robot itself. Now you can also pull up the plummet from the level and the laser plummet from the remote. Let's say you're out on the job, you're away from the instrument, you know, you've been working half of the day in the shade in the sun, you want to see if it's still on level, you can hit shift, F12, and it'll pull up the plummet again. Now you won't be able to see the laser, but you'll be able to see if the equipment is still level. And then escape out of that menu the same way you did on the machine, and it's going to bring you back to your main menu. Now, this screen on both the robot and the remote is fully functional touch screen. Uh, you can use your finger. There's a stylus in the back that's used for it. Um, on the colder days, you want to use, and even any time, you want to use the keypad and the arrows as much as possible without using the stylus, especially when it's get cold out. You, you don't want to be, you know, jabbing into the screen not knowing, you know, how cold it is. And, you know, you get, because you can easily scratch it. Now to turn it off, what you're going to do is you're going to hold user and program at the same time and it's going to bring up a menu. If you do this on the robot, it's the same thing. You're going to hold user and program on the robot keypad. It's going to bring up a screen on the remote that's going to ask you, do you want to turn off just the remote itself, the remote and the robot, or do you want to cancel and continue working? You can do a couple things. You can use a stylus to choose which one you want. You can use the numbers, one, two, or three, or you can use your arrows. If you use your arrows, you just got to hit enter when you're done. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we want to turn off both of the remote and the robot. So we're going to hit number two, or use the arrows, and hit enter. And it's going to ask us, confirm, do we want to turn it off, yes or no? We can use a stylus to hit yes or no, or we can use F4 or F6. F6 is yes, we're going to turn off the equipment and it's going to power down. You can see that the remote is powering down, shutting off, and if you come over to the instrument, you can see that the instrument has shut down and powered off.